Software design concepts. Basic concepts underlining the software design process remain the same, some of which are explained below. Abstraction. Permits one to concentrate on the problem at some level of generalization without regard to irrelevant low-level details. Software engineering is a process of refining abstractions. Number one, functional abstraction. This involves the use of parametrized subprograms. Functional abstractions can be generalized as collections of subprograms referred to as groups. Within these groups, there exist routines which may be visible or hidden. Number two, data abstraction. This involves specifying data that describes a data object. Number three, control abstraction. This states the desired effect without stating the exact mechanism of control. Modularization is a technique to divide software systems into independent modules, which are expected to be capable of carrying out tasks independently. They execute and or compile separately. Concurrency. In the software design, concurrency is implemented by splitting the software into multiple independent units of execution, like modules, and executing them in parallel. In other words, concurrency provides capability to the software to execute more than one part of code in parallel to the other. It is necessary for programmers and designers to recognize these modules which can be made through parallel execution. Coupling and cohesion. When a software program is modularized, its tasks are divided into several modules based on similar characteristics. As we know, modules are a set of instructions put together in order to achieve tasks. They are considered as a single entity, but may refer to each other when working. There are measures by which the quality of a design of module and their interactions among them can be measured. These measures are called coupling and cohension. Cohension. This is a measure that defines the degree of interdependability within elements of a module. The greater the cohension, the better the program design. There are seven types of cohension, namely, Coincidental cohension. It is unplanned and random cohension, which might be the result of breaking the program into smaller modules for the sake of modularization. Because it is unplanned, it may cause confusion to the programmers and is generally not accepted. Logical cohension. When logically categorized elements are put together into a module, this is called logical cohension. Temporal cohension, when elements of a module are organized such that they are processed at a similar point in time, they are called temporal cohension. Procedural cohension, when elements of a module are grouped together, which are executed sequentially in order to perform a task, we refer to this as procedural cohension. Communicational cohension, when elements of a module are grouped together, which are executed sequentially and work on the same data. It is called communicational cohension. Sequential cohension. When elements of modules are grouped together, the output of one element serves as input to another and so on. It is called sequential cohension. Functional cohension. It is considered to be the highest degree of cohension and it is highly expected Elements of a module in functional cohension are grouped because they are contributing to a single well-defined function. It can also be reused. Coupling. Coupling is a measure that defines the level of interdependability among modules of a program. It defines the level of the modules, how they interface and interact with each other. The lower the coupling, the better the program. There are five levels of coupling, namely content coupling. When a module can be directly accessed or modified or refer to the content of another module, this is called content level coupling. 
common coupling. When multiple modules have read and write access to some global data, this is called common or global coupling. Control coupling. Two modules are called control coupled if one of them decides the function of the other modules or change in its flow of execution. Stamp coupling. When multiple modules share common data structures and work on different parts, then this is called stamp coupling. Data coupling. When two modules interact with each other by means of passing data as a parameter, if a module passes data structures as a parameter, then the receiving module should use all of its components. Ideally, no coupling is considered to be the best. Thank you.